for working people because building working class power is the most important thing socialists can do. Um, and really fighting for reforms that move forward a radical agenda because we see that we live in a society that is uh, radically inegalitarian and it's going to take radical changes to reverse that. Um, so that's what DSA does. Um, what I wanted to talk about today with all of you is what is democratic socialism anyway. <laughs> um, but really, I, I kind of think about it as three different, three, we have three things to talk about. One is what is democratic socialism? Because without a vision, it's hard to develop a path to take you to that vision. But also, how do we strengthen the political revolution for the long term? And that's related to the question of what will it take to win? <laughs> so what is our plan? to win this struggle. Um, so I want to start by asking all of you guys um, a little bit about yourselves just so that I know where you're all coming from. Um, so the first point is, um, who is a member of DSA right now? Yay! Great. Um, who has been a socialist as far back as you can remember? Okay. Um, who just started, because of the Bernie Sanders campaign, started to question the way our society is run and want to learn more about socialism in the last week? Great. Um, and who is an activist, um, and has been a long time activist, but hasn't really looked into socialism until today? Or until recently? Okay. Probably there's mostly just lots of overlap between all those other categories. Um, okay, well that's wonderful. Welcome everybody, and I'm hoping that we can learn from each other. We're, what we're going to do is, um, I'm going to talk a little bit, and then I'm going to have you guys break into small groups and talk about a few questions about your lives, and then we'll come back and report and discuss it some more, and then we'll get to the question of how do we win, <laughs> and then we'll um, talk about that probably in small groups again, and then um, come back and discuss it. Um, so. Five years ago, or even just two years ago, when I talked about democratic socialism, um, I like to start by telling the story of when I realized that I was a socialist. Um, I grew up with family members in unions, uh, postal workers, mine workers, uh, firefighters, teachers, um, and you know, I grew up with my parents yelling at TV at the news. And you know, they were pretty liberal, and I learned that if all the little people didn't work together, we were going to get screwed. Um, and you know, we had to band together. And I'm a woman, and I'm biracial, even though I don't look Chicana, I am. And I see my mother facing sexism and racism, and I face very clear sexism in my own life. Uh, I knew the world was very unfair. Um, I was very angry and dissatisfied with a lot of things. Um, but, you know, I just thought that's the way it had to be. Um, and then when I was older, I was involved in feminist activism um, when I was a student. And I felt like it was satisfying something important in my life, but it also didn't feel like it was enough. Um, I felt like the, the issues we were fighting for were very important, but they were, we were leaving a lot of women behind. And then I, some people at my school had an event called What is Socialist Feminism? And it was kind of like this event. Um, and they talked about not only how we have a patriarchal society, but how we have a capitalist society and what that means and the way the economy and our society is structured to benefit a few at the expense of the rest of us. And I had in that moment uh, an epiphany where it was like, Oh my God! Now everything makes sense, and I um, I started reading a lot more about socialism um, and democratic socialism specifically, and it really uh, it opened my eyes and it, it it sort of brought all the puzzle pieces together of things that I already knew. So um, you know, I'll, this is a I used to tell the story in much more detail, but since Bernie Sanders launched his campaign for president. Um, I don't really have to go into the details anymore because many, many more people have now have had that moment where they realize, oh, there's a name for how I feel. Um, I'm not just making stuff up. Like, really, the world is unfair and it's set up deliberately to be unfair. So, 
Bernie Sanders um, by standing up and saying, yes, I'm a democratic socialist and I'm proud of it, um, it has transformed the political discussion in this country. He's made socialism uh, something that is part of the mainstream almost. Um, and it, it has become something that we can talk about and it creates space in the debate um, to talk about progressive things which aren't even socialist, but are the things that used to be called socialist. You know, the right wing constantly uses what we call red baiting, where they say, oh, that's socialist, therefore it's completely off the table. And now that's much more difficult for them to do. And that's, our task is to uh, continue that evolution um, to make it uh, socialism a positive thing. Um, and just imagine if all of Bernie's millions of fans in everyday life and as an organized political force said, we're democratic socialists, this is what it means, it's good and we're proud and that's what we need in society. So, um, you all are part of a very important political revolution in this country. Um, it will, however, lose steam if we don't keep pushing it forward ourselves. Um, so, we're going to talk about that later, but first I wanted to get to the question of what is democratic socialism anyway, because that's the, the topic of the evening. Um, and I thought it would be good to crowdsource the definition. Um, so, uh, what we want to do is actually um, break into three groups, um, and I want to count off um, so that you're with people you don't know. Um, and we are going to come back and we're going to talk in more detail about what democratic socialism is, but you can understand democratic socialism by understanding what's unfair in your own life, so that's how we're going to start. Um, what I want to have is um, have everybody talk about what was the moment when you started questioning, like when did you realize that things were unfair, when did you start to think that perhaps there is an alternative or there should be an alternative um, way of running society, or even if you didn't even think about it that coherently, just there's something wrong. And Bernie has put voice to these desires for something better that millions and millions of people feel. Um, and we all need to learn to articulate that to each other um, and develop together a vision for the kind of alternative that we can create together. Um, so. I know you might have been expecting a big lecture, but I hate doing lectures. I always find it much more interesting to hear all of you, and usually we come up with a much better definition of democratic socialism. So let's count off by threes. Um, and we're going to have John, Philip, and Bill. You might not have realized it. Oh, okay. John, Philip, and Andrea um, are going to um, facilitate little breakout groups for a few minutes. Um, and um, then we'll come back and we'll ask you guys to write it down on um, these big poster papers.